two years of basically having having a support structure of a wonderful company for who you can ask questions, use their resources. Uh, you have a city centre office, um, and you're working on their full-scale professional productions. It's really been fantastic as there aren't really a huge amount of professional training programs for sound design. For me, it was the only thing I'd heard of that made sense. I didn't expect it to feel like a workplace for me. Uh, which you did. I ended up feeling very at home here. Just having somewhere you can go in, shut off, somewhere that's an actual workspace. The building is probably one of the, the, the strongest bits about the program. When I have somewhere to go and to work, that the work I'm doing feels more legitimate, that I actually am starting to forge a career for myself. They kind of said to me, you can actually just stay in the office and you know work with us on as much or as little as you want. I think in my experience of the people who I know who've gotten the most out of being on the SEEDS program are the people who are just willing to kind of soak it all up. Unless you want to do your own tech startup whilst working in like uh, Google <laughs> or Facebook and seeing how they work whilst getting your own company off the ground. I was actually seeing the activity of the company on a day-to-day -day basis. I think what surprised me the most was the amount of freedom you're given to pursue your own avenues uh, and find out what kind of, for me, find out what kind of producer I wanted to be. And what was really good about what happened in the end was that I was supported to change my mind at the last minute and I was supported to write a completely different draft than the one that I had said I would write. Um, so the reading became, uh, for me, like about kind of celebrating that. I was also seeing how people ran a company. My placement was in the South Bank in London. I still think it was like the most inspiring two months of my life. It really opened my eyes to that you can really do anything you set your mind to, that like you can put anything on stage and make it work. It changed the way I thought about um, theatre and art and how people work. I made a huge amount of connections with people involved in theatre in New York. It showed me immediately the scope of what can be done. That you can, um, you know, aim for the the ultimate version of that design, you know what I mean? Um, don't start by, start with, we probably can't afford it, don't try it. Start with the idea, you can work back, but if you don't think big, you can't make big. Every year we bring the seeds to an international festival to see work that we may not have access to in Ireland. The, the research trip was also brilliant. Getting to see shows in London, Paris, Berlin, uh, places I had never seen theatre before. Purely because of the scale of the shows that we saw there, it was just quite different I think to a lot of stuff you see here. It was really moving, it was, uh, I can't, it's hard to describe, it was like proper live art. It was kind of like, wow, you can do this with theatre. There was only about four scenes in it that evolved over maybe 15 minutes each that were just like canvases that came alive really, really slowly and the rhythm of it was just unlike anything I'd seen before that. They managed to have excellence and chaos at the same time and emotional clarity. The conversation turns to, well, what can be taken from these, this experience? Like, how can you um, allow it to enhance your own work? Also, getting to know the other seeds is a huge thing. So you're, you're suddenly um, kind of in close quarters with, with your peers. I really enjoyed going to see work with the uh, other seeds because if I go see a show with Sinead, who's a sound designer, we will each feed each other's uh, understanding of what we're watching. It was incredible. We worked so much together. Learning how to actually work with a group of people who are all at the same level as you and who are all trying their hardest to be the best they can be. It's helped us kind of form um, connections at our own level as well as then make meeting um, companies that were uh, would, would hire us later. I don't think I would have been able to even contemplate applying for the Roland project if I didn't have that kind of grounding. When you get accepted into Rough Magic Seeds, you have Rough Magic stamp of approval, um, so it instantly helps you rise up through the ranks of the industry um, and to establish yourself as, um, as a professional designer. It did surprise me, because at the end of it, I thought, oh yeah, that, this, this is what I do now, whereas before, it was, oh, this is what I want to do. When I decided to apply for Seeds, that was kind of the moment that it became more than just a hobby or something that I was sort of figuring out. It was something I was actively 
pursuing. It's by no means tokenistic. I think if you want to have a relationship with Rough Magic, Seeds can be the beginning of that relationship and you can chase it up and keep it on. Um, and the accessibility in that regard, um, kind of like if you're a seed, you're always a seed, I kind of feel. 